I'm going to do a quick video, and you, some of you are getting a little bit silly in the room. Um, now, when you're under stress from trading, which, you know, with the move that we currently had because of the Elon Musk tweet about him, you know, uh, not accepting payment because Bitcoin is now environmentally unfriendly or whatever BS he says, um, you know, uh, uh, that type of thinking in psychology leaves me exasperated because it's not based on anything. If you have to wait for a tweet to decide which direction the market's going in, then you might as well stop trading right now. Um, when I gave you the, the video from the other day, I told you that the odds were, because we're in May and it's showing up in the stock market, right, um, that a lot of selling will happen during this period of time. Even when it's not air apparent, let's say one sector takes over, the general um, operandi is that you sell during May, June, and you know during the summer. And that's just the way it's always been, and probably will continue to be. There are many signs that show us that you could observe, that you could see, that said that well, it's likely we're going to be more likely to go down than up, but that's not certain. I can't predict the future. I just go off the stats of what I can see and observe. And then I make a plan, and then I execute that plan. That's the type of thinking you want to develop. And it's not about being right or wrong. And I mean, you know, I, I could say that I'm right a lot, a high percentage of time, but it's only based off of because I pay attention to what the market really does, not what I want or what I think. And I look at what's there. And that's what I suggest that others do. And they make their own decisions. I'm not telling anybody what to do or what to buy. I never have and I never will. I'll tell you what I do and how I see the market. And um, right now, uh, with this in this period of time, I see that where you should go down. And so far, that's what's happening. With Elon or without Elon, it's just the supply and demand dynamics. Now, of course, it happens faster when he tweets something. And his tweeting might actually cause an inverse reaction. You might piss off a lot of people, and then they become emotional buyers, and they start buying like who, who any number of people um, based off of this. And that will also show whether we have uh, you know, too much demand or um, too much supply. And it's very simple. All right, so anyway, if we go back to the video that I shot the other day, we did something here. We did two things, right? We broke this trend line down here, followed it back up, tested up here, and then broke back down here, and we're below this trend line. So this is key. See this crossover that you have here? There's your center point. This is what we've done so far. So. Now, continuation downward is more likely. So we have the you know, summer doldrums that we're in. Uh, we have the negative Elon Musk tweet and, and all of that. So everything's pointing to the downside. Now, am I predicting that we're going to go up and break up here or continue down all the way? You know? No, I'm showing you what's on the chart. I'm paying attention to what I see. That's what I care about. That's, you know. And when I see certain elements show up, you know, I'll tell you what's there and pay attention to them because your number one, the number one thing you want to learn to do in trading, if you want to stick around and actually make money from trading, is to observe. All right. Don't think I heard this from a friend in my, you know, I'm listening to this one person and yesterday. He said, oh, we're going to seven or eight K for by the end of the month for uh, Ethereum. And then two minutes later, he's telling us, oh, he has friends in the oil business and so forth, and we're gonna crash and, uh, you know, uh, how terrible everything looks. I, I don't wanna hear it. That's silly type of nonsensical uh, thinking. I, I drew all the lines here. I showed you everything. This is your resistance zone. It's not magic. Uh, this is a trend line that was broken, traded back up to it. And then this is the other one down here, the horizontal versus the vertical, and that was broken. So now we're um, going to decide whether we continue lower or 
if we decide to break back up to here and even take out, you know, the upper end. And if we do this, then I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to execute and start buying, right? If we uh, don't and we keep going lower, then I'm going to be buying down here, right? I'm going to start averaging into the summer selling. And I've got my plan, right? And I, all, all I need to do from here is to execute it. There's no thinking. I don't know if I'm going to be right. I'm not Miss Cleo. I can't predict the future. And I'm not going to waste my time trying to because my knowledge based off of what the market does most of the time and paying attention to that, actually paying, instead of coming up with some silly nonsense that has no basis on statistics or uh, any validity to it, um, do you understand? Focus on what actually happens in the market, not what you dream in your head. Most people are delusional, all right? They're delusional. That's why they can't make money in the market because they're too busy of dreaming and coming up with things that uh, they they apply to the, the charts and everything they see, but and then they say to themselves, they look for uh, things that agree with that point of view. Don't ever do that. Let the market tell you what its point of view is and what it would likely do. Do it without trying to say it's going to do this or it's going to do that. Because once you lock yourself into that point of view where you know what it's going to do, and then you ignore the reality of what it actually does, then you're disconnected and you're not really paying attention. You're not observing. And observing is number one, right? Make sense, simple logic. Uh, do things that are going to help you learn and to actually um, uh, provide you with a real education. The market can do that. That just requires you to t get out of your own way and stop making stuff up. And that's just delusional thinking. And those type of people, you know, they'll, they'll lose money and burn out because they have no sense of reality or logic or anything that's real. Uh, it, they don't know the truth. A person without the truth is, uh, forget about it, in trading. Persona non grata. You're done. Anyway, that's what I wanted to say in the video. Uh, and we'll see where we go from here. But again, it's May. And it's summertime, and resistance is holding. And we know what we're gonna, or I know what I'm gonna do. And uh, I've got a, I've observed, I planned, and now I execute. That's it. Anyway, have a good week. I'll talk to you later.